with the Renaissance era, we have horizontals, verticals, more vibrancy, brighter colors, paintings and works that look as if they are posing for us. For example, Leonardo da Vinci's The Last Supper, or The Mona Lisa, or David's Michelangelo, works as if Mona Lisa staring at us with the eerie smile, looking into our soul, as if she knows something that we don't. Or the Baroque era, where diagonals are used, instances, situations where, where things are caught in the moment. For example, Caravaggio's The Calling of St. Matthew, or Horatio's David and Goliath. These scenes of, of life, of tragedy, blood, gore, So, does anyone have any questions? Class dismissed. Homework due 10 a.m. Melissa, that means no pencil, pen, and 10 o'clock, not 10.01, Chris. Take care, guys. Grades have been slipping a bit since the last term. You're an A plus student. Is everything okay? Yeah, everything is. Well, no. Everything is not okay, honestly. Hmm. Well, good for you. I am all ears. I'd love to help. What's going on? Well, my classmates have been bullying me ever since this school year started. Those are some nice comics. Thank you. How long have you been drawing? For about seven years now. No, I'm no stranger to bullying myself. Every day, same age as you, 17. Bullied, rumors, self-doubt, insecurities, depression, anxiety, you name it. But it took my art for that to change. I realized I lacked love, but therefore I lacked hope. One day in class, same as you, I took the pen to the paper, and I decided enough. No more of this. I'm gonna compile a story. It's gonna change my life for the better. From that day on, I just kept drawing, kept writing, kept emoting on the page. Have you ever heard of the story, Imagination? Yeah, it's one of my favorites. Oh yeah? Yeah. Mine too. To create. Create? Create. No way. Yes, 17 years old, just as you, in the classroom, started a story. One that I changed my life for the rest of it. And I realized, where well, there is love, there is hope. And that drew me the pen to the paper, and I began drawing. Would you like to know the story? I would love to hear it. I'm going to tell you the story of how imagination came to be, and how my childhood became the genesis of the comics fantasy world. The fuck are you doing, faggot? The fuck is this Yo, shit? Yo, what the hell are you doing? Oh, you trying to draw shit, huh? This looks like shit. Then get the fuck out of my face! The fuck did you say? I don't make comics for arrogant assholes like you! What's going on? Take a hike, old man. This doesn't concern you. Okay, get out of here or I'm gonna call the police, okay? You, watch out. You okay? I don't feel like I'm doing okay. I feel like I'm nobody. Like. Like, I don't deserve to exist. Anybody doesn't deserve to live, it's that asshole. That was really good. Can I? Damn. Who taught you how to draw? Myself. No. Really? Yeah, I'm a writer. We should uh, collaborate sometime. Okay. 
give me my address. What's your name? Robert. Robert Edwards. I'm Jim. That's me. Uh, trying to stay away from assholes. Okay? See you later. Robert, what that boy did to you yesterday in the park, that was... That's just awful. No kidding. But I see something in you. I think you have it. I do? Yeah. For real? I used to write comic books to make myself not feel so alone. I think I could help you express your creativity. It might help you. Really? Yeah. That's something alright. Take this pen. I got an idea. What is it? So, there are these three kids that are living in this fantasy world. There are wizards and goblins and magic and all that. And they need to defend this place against the villainy that's trying to spread bigotry and hatred. It's all sorts of magic and wonder. I think that's a great idea for a story. I'll get a paper, you start drawing, I'll start writing. Deal? Deal. Jim's friends? Are you one of his friends as well? Yeah, Jenny. Great. Who are you? So, where's Jim? Did he go out? Or What happened to Jim? Robert, this is hard to say, but... What happened to Jim? Robert, I'm so sorry for what happened to Jim. <sighs> I just can't believe he was murdered. Listen, Robert. Jim wanted to help kids who were going through a tough time by creating stories. He did the same thing for me. Jim might be gone, but his legacy will go on. Look, I can help you create stories. The world might seem dark right now, but there is a beacon of hope out there. We can bring hope to everyone. You can bring hope. Don't ever give up. Do it for Jim. Let's do it. For Jim. For Jim. <laughs> and that's my story.